All right, so I feel like they put that scene with uh, Egil there commenting on the faces being under his control, specifically because Dixon just mentioned that he could see Mumkar defecting. To make you now question, again, like, is he in control of his actions there, or is Egil controlling him? I feel like it'd be a Dun little of both. Because both Dumban and Dixon said they could totally see that in him. Yeah. And they probably knew him pretty well. Yeah, I'd imagine so. What's that? Ooh, that's a tank from the war. Oh, so these are like the ruins from the battle. Yep, this is where the tutorial battle took place. Hmm. Not the specific part, but this Will is... Will we get to the part that we actually played at? Yes. Because I, I do recognize like the color of the ground. Actually, <laughs> I think the part you played at sound. is right over there. <gasps> no way. I think it's right up on top of that hill. Oh, how surreal is that? Yeah, was that a... Okay. Thing to be uh, Dumban again, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, ooh, is that a Mechon? Is it? Or is that just ruins? No, I think that's just ruins. All right. Anyway, I feel like it'd be a little of both, like, Ego controlling them, but they're also kind of starting to, like, get out of his grip. Oh, Melly just learned a new skill. Oh, she did? I should go Oh, that. I think it's just her first skill in the new skill tree, so uh, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it certainly seems like, to some extent, at least, they have a free will. Hmm. Like, Zora's cracking jokes and stuff. I don't think he was ordered to do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it might be just be that Ego has, like, an influence, mm -hmm. but that still makes you wonder, like, is it right to kill a Mumkar, then? Yeah. Or can he somehow be saved and freed? Because, like, if he were to be freed, would he still be this evil bad guy he is now, you know? Yeah. What's this thing? That's a gate you can't open. You have to go into the little building you pass, I think. Oh, uh, wait, what's that? Or maybe that. Maybe that's how you get in. Access panel. Click it. Okay, yeah, you gotta get probably the key from the building. Oh, uh, okay. You know um, how we were talking about, like, the, I think that Jade Face could be one of Melia's men? Yeah. And then you mentioned that it's interesting I say that because Jade Face is kind of a guard. That way. Yeah, that building. Um, I was also thinking that, like, since you were saying that Jade Face is kind of, like, refined, and Melia's men are, are high into you, like, they're kind of refined, so mm, that's yeah. kind of interesting. Oh, for viewers, remember back when you met Melia, she had four dudes around her, and they all vanish after they died. Where their bodies go, the game didn't just get rid of them for no reason. There, there was a reason why they are gone. Yeah, so I predict that... Jade, Jade Face is, Face one, is of one of their one of those men. And for those of you wondering, Jade, who I don't may not know this game story, Jade Face is the last face Mechon you meet who becomes a character, and we yeah. haven't met him yet. And Katie thinks he might be the boss of this area. Yeah, that's what I think might be. I will say Jade Face isn't too far off. I will uh -oh. comment on how close. Uh -oh. Ooh, new combat. So you do not need to enchant if you have anti Mechon weapons. Okay. And it's still gonna play this song because you're not really on Mechonis yet. Uh oh, gotcha. But your weapons are strong enough that you can cut through their armor without enchanting. It's just, if you enchant, it's even stronger. Because mm -hmm. a Monado is a lot stronger against them, so. But it's nice to finally not to be Shulk to fight Mechon, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Tell them to focus. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, take Melia's aggro. Alright, just a minute. She's about to die, though. Oh, shit. Alright. She's dead. Okay. Go revive Melia and encourage her. And tell him to focus. It's okay if Ricky has aggro. He's got tons of health. Yeah, <laughs> he's got the most health out of everyone, apparently. Yeah. That's pretty hilarious. Well, he's a little ball of fluff. Like, how do you hurt him? Yeah. I right, go take out the others. I mean, you're taking on five Mechon at once right now. <laughs> yeah. We must focus our efforts. <laughs> it's pretty good they toppled that one then, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if only you could daze it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. Honeybee unit. <laughs> I love their names. Ricky time. Ricky time. Is that so? It's pronounced Rhine. <laughs> hey. Oh, Melia learned an art. Oh, sweet. Check what it is. Let me get these dips. Can't take the quality plug. The you quality. can take the stellar armor. <laughs> you have to sell some of your crap you don't need so you can I get know. this new crap. Guess I can't take the normal part. <sighs> I hate games with limits on inventories for like things like this they don't really care about. I know, I just want it all. It's like you just want it for the sake of having it. I hate limits like that. Like yeah. I get the limits for like armor and stuff, but when it's just stuff like that, it's like, oh come on. Yeah, I know. Just let me have one of everything. And this might be the last art Melly unlocks. Uh, oh, summon, summon Earth. Poison damage and reduces physical damage. You can say if you want. Uh, 
I guess I could. What should I replace it with, though? Uh, <laughs> what's the purple one on the left? Burst end. Defense of enemies. I mean, it doesn't even look like it does... I don't know. Mm. I would replace that. It doesn't sound too useful, honestly. Alright. But that's just me. Oh, you also have Summon Wind. Yeah. Which one's Summon Wind? Increases agility. Ah, uh, that's up to you if you want to get rid of something. Well, the other things are like leveled up. Well, you know. You could get rid of Spear Break and like put back Spear Break later if you wanted. I could. Because it's not like she does much damage anyway. You don't really want her drawing aggro. Yeah. You could put Summon Wind over that. And in which case, you probably level those up. Yeah. Like Earth and Wind. It's not like you have advanced manuals for her. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Do more. Because you might just like cycle through them, you mm -hmm. know, in different fights, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's pretty that's good. good. Okay. Alright. Uh, so yeah, why don't you explore this room? Ah, more ether. Ooh. Mine. Stealing the Mechon's ether. <laughs> Thieves. Ricky Sneaky. <laughs> Ricky Sneaky. Go, go up to the left. There's like stairs. See? Oh. <laughs> so I did tell you the boss of this area is level 52. Oh, so you want to make sure you're leveled up enough for that. But keep yeah. in mind, I mean, you're probably fine with being <laughs> three levels under. You've been consistently under leveled for bosses so yeah. far. Yeah. If I at least get to level 47. I mean, I well, might it's be okay. 52. 49, uh, you mean. Oh, uh, yeah. What are you at now? Whoa. How do you look? You target something, I think. Oh. I'm just looking around. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. You can keep exploring up here if you want. That's cool. I'm looking down. <laughs> That's where you just were. That's the building you want. It's, it's cool. <laughs> keep in mind, you level up by exploring, so it's always worth your time to do that if you yeah. want to. You got some bitter broccoli. Ew. <laughs> I like broccoli. I don't want it to be bitter, though. That sounds kind of Broccoli's gross. either bitter or not for you. Certain people actually can't taste the barrenness like me. I can't taste the barrenness of broccoli, so it tastes mm. good to me. I like broccoli baked and garlic and shit. I just like it steamed on its own. It's really good. What's up here? Stuff. Ooh, see the big boy? <gasps> the can big, big boy? Can I target him? Yeah, but don't take him off. Oh, I won't, but I just want to see if I can... Ooh! He's not actually that higher than you. Oh, that's the... That's the... That's going to be the level of the boss you said, right? Yes, but just because of his size, his physical attacks are probably really big. Yeah. I'd be shulked to fight him if you want to, you yeah. know? Yeah, I'm not going to do it now, but... Yeah. I'm just exploring. I would definitely be shulked for the boss. Yeah. Always be shulked for Vision boss Vision breaking. <laughs> I love the atmosphere here. I love, like, how solemn it feels, you know? I know. If you want to get down, there's, like, stairs down there. Okay. Oh. I can't, can't jump across there. I need to get some hover boots from Link. <laughs> you gotta run, like... Oh, right there, stairs. Oh. Right there, see? No. Oh, those. Those are far away. No, man, I'll just go left here, probably. Yeah, see? Right here. And then jump off the side. Right here. Just jump that way. See? Oh. Right over the stairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to- this, oh, over there. Oh. That's how you're supposed to. See? Oh, that's how you're supposed to get down here. You just fell. <laughs> Who needs stairs? Stairs are for squares. <laughs> yeah, just avoid the super big boys. Mm -hmm. You can fight, fight the normal big boys, though. <laughs> yeah, as long as that doesn't attract anyone. Ooh, a well, chicken. There's, one. there's a... <laughs> a honeybee and a chicken. Level 44, really? Take him out. Take him out. Level up. Nice. Who was that? Ricky. You'll level up the next thing you kill. Oh, and Ricky learned a new art, too. Oh, nice. So many good arts and not enough slots to put them on. Mm -hmm. How come there's no side quests to, like, increase the number of uh, palette options you have? Yeah. Like, that'd be cool, right? They all set, like, two more arts for each character. Oh, uh, yeah. Do most side quests have the same couple of rewards. Oh, more money. You know? <laughs> You can just warn Ricky. And, oh, oh, that's not even worth it, is it? Yes, take that thing out. 
I've been hit with a slow, but uh, maybe not. It's really like no damage at all. <laughs> oh, more more honeybees. Jeez. Alright, you leveled up too. Oh good. <laughs> Goddamn honey. Oh, there's the big boy. Watch out for him. Uh-oh. Don't come over here, man. Don't come over here, big boy. Chain attack it. You're good. Slice him. Ricky! <laughs> is that his back? I can't tell. Oh, uh, that's his side. Oh. Eh. Yeah, well, they're both back attacks. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Slip <-tooth. laughs> Probably can't have any of these. I can take the legs. Yeah. I love how you bought all this armor, you don't need, like, most of it. You <laughs> get more armor from these. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, I can't take that. Can I take anything from here? <laughs> Yes, most things. Just got for the quality plug. <sighs> Darn. So, <laughs> so good. Such a good quality plug. Oh, big boy. I love how he just kind of like bitch slaps you. I know. I don't think so. He's like, he's like back fists you. <laughs> the grunts. It's the best part. It's like you want bust her enemies that close to dead, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Like in the daytime. Another another gate. Because <laughs> he stole the access key so he can open them all. Go in there. Whoa. You gotta go through this is the fifth gate. You pass the sixth, you gotta get up to the first gate to get to the boss. Oh, uh, okay. What team are you going to use for the boss? Um, I might just go with the uh, Shulk run and Charla. <laughs> Generally, the recommendation is Shulk, then a tank, which is either Rhino or Dunban, mm -hmm. and then a character with healing, so either Melly or Ricky or Charla. Yeah. Charla, of course, the most effective healer. The others can do way better damage than Charla. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to use, like, Dunban or Rhino though, as your tank. The different kinds of tanks. Rhino's more a traditional tank, he just takes damage. Dumb man avoids damage and does a lot of damage himself, but he actually can't take that many hits. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't had Ryan out in a while, so. Yeah, I might do with him. Yeah. Or I might have. I don't know, because I could have Dumb, dumb Man out too, because I think Ryan has more affinity with other characters, so. Well, you want high affinity for a boss. Yeah. You want low affinity for normal combat so you can raise affinity, but for a boss, you want to use your high affinity. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? There's a flying fluke. Wow. Ooh, that's creepy looking. Ew, it is. <laughs> it looks kind of like a demon angel. I don't keep hitting, like keep hitting it. Keep hitting them. When they're toppled, you want to hit them because you do more damage to toppled enemies. Oh. Or rather, they take more damage. Mm -hmm. Dead. Save your chain attack, quick. Run to someone else and use it. It's not going to be anything in there you need anyway. Chain attack. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> Let me chain attack you. Well, you, it went down over time, so oh. it happens. You just gotta build it back up, you gotcha. know. Like now. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> it's almost dead. <laughs> it's fine. You'll carry on to the next fight. <laughs> Hit it. Great. Yay! None can oppose us. <laughs> Just like old times. With these people that I only started <laughs> fighting with a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you want, you can go back at the other chest now. Alright. There was probably nothing in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was over there. Let's see? Hoppity hops. <laughs> yep, nothing. <laughs> Nothing on Most eat. worthless chest in the game. <laughs> mm. Ooh, doesn't this feel cool? That looks like a stompity Joe over there. Honeybee unit. <laughs> That's the little flying one. Oh. Oh, I see him. Ooh. 
Dun Dun. <laughs> I love how I call him Dun Dun. Ritsu. Oh, can I use it? Oh no, she's dead. Melia, how did that happen? Because Melia's dumb. There. <laughs> now she's alive. She just looked at it. Oh, is the fight over? <laughs> what did <laughs> I miss? <laughs> That reminds me when we did L.A. Noir and they had like the other officer like lying on the ground <laughs> while you were punching the guy and like everyone's like he'd like look up and like try oh, to get yeah. him just kind of like plop back. Oh my god, It's <laughs> yeah. like that's my current mood every day. Like that kind of deal, you know? Yeah. Hold on, I want to fight them. I think you have to. Oh. I'd say get to at least 48, probably 49 for the boss. Would be ideal, you know. Don mm. Ban has been feeling his power returning to him this whole time. He, keep, <laughs> he keeps losing it, and then it comes back. <laughs> Oh, what could you Oh, just do? chain attack it. You little dip. Just chain attack it. Alright. You little shit. Best lines on a blade, too. <laughs> is when uh, Malice goes, Don't get cocky. You little shit. <laughs> Best line. That is the only part of Xenoblade Blade 2 where the writing wasn't terrible. <laughs> and it's only because his acting was... That's the only scene in that game with good acting. It's not good at all. It's just, it's so great when you hear it. Yeah. I love when you get those visions as like nothing. I know. Like Jim. when you get a vision with like 300 damage, it's just like, <laughs> like okay. <laughs> it's like I have 4,000 health. Your little 300 damage isn't gonna hurt me. <laughs> Katie, Katie, if you didn't take it from the take all, that means you I, can't. I know. I kept uh, accidentally hitting the wrong thing. Dipper. Yeah, they gotta find the uh, the key card slot or find a way to scale it. Oh, I think. Wait, was it in that building? Did I miss that? Probably. The oh. link's not there. It's that way. To your right. Yeah. With like a million enemies inside. Yeah, right. Oh. A new quest. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, you gotta take out all the, the bad guys in there, I guess. Oh. You might have to get on top. Hmm. Ooh, scale right there. Yeah, take him out. Oh, <laughs> okay. You might actually want to use Shulk, because there's a whole bunch up here. Uh, so you can take these guys and then switch. Nose mouth. <laughs> what does that mean? Nose mouth? I don't know. If it's toppled, you want to hit it with a, another red. You know? Because do, you do more damage if they're toppled. Uh, I didn't realize that I I'm so used to it not doing anything when I do my topple thing. <laughs> it's fine. Actually, you're doing pretty well just this cast. You want to stay as them. Uh-huh. I'm gonna switch for the boss for it, obviously, but... Well, yeah, yeah, but you're probably not gonna get to the boss tonight. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Melia, you just sat there and watched it when you could have toppled it. <laughs> like, Melia, come on. Yeah, most enemies you do more damage to. And you do also want to cast auras if you can. Because, like... They're all pretty good, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's, like, a passive effect over... <laughs> yeah, I'd save your neutral for the next fight at this point. Yeah. Will it be there, like, right yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. And rush the next one so you can chain attack. <laughs> Alright, rush to the next. Open the chest and run. 